Nigel, we weren't able to be in the uh, in the media conference. Did you throw out any more words today? Um, well, I guess they since going off last time, they put me on the spot, so I gave them a word. But I also kind of like uh, I had like a little blooper. I told the uh, sonographer lady she was beautiful, and everyone heard me because the mic was still on. So you know, it's it's on the record now. So I mean, at least she knows now. Now, uh, I was talking to Jordan Hill, and he kind of threw you under the bus. He says you're a Johnny-come-lately Kobe fan, and your presence in his locker uh, may not uh, represent uh, the truest of the Kobe fans in this locker room. You care to respond? Uh, I mean, he's right. I was uh, LeBron was always uh, my favorite player. And then, um, like, recently this past summer, I switched over to uh, being a Kobe fan. And... Uh, so, yeah, uh, he says I am late to the party, but I always say, well, at least I'm at the party. So um, hopefully while I'm here, I've been told this is his locker. There's not 100 percent, about 95. But hopefully, you know, I can uh, I can get to meet him and uh, maybe talk to him or whatnot. And I would definitely um, make my uh, make my trip. Did you actually try to research the lockers of this room to find out which might have been his? Uh, from people in the locker room, when Kobe has a couple pictures or interviews in this picture, Right here to my right is next to the locker he sits at. So by, you know, deductive reasoning, this could be that locker. But still, we're not 100%, so I'll have to do some more digging and uh, recon to make sure that this is actually his locker. All right, you work on that. Meanwhile, as for the game, um, what's the biggest key to beating North Carolina and how much of it begins and ends with transition defense? Um, all of it starts with transition defense. They're a great transition team. They get up and down extremely well and fast, even after made shots by the other team. And if we're able to uh, limit that as well as uh, limit their offensive rebounding, I think they're at about 15 or 16 offensive rebounds a game. And if you let a team have that much, that's 15 extra times they can score on you. So if we can eliminate those two major things, I think that we'll have a better chance of winning. Is playing in the Staples Center a thrill for you? Um... I mean, I guess it's nice to be able to play where Kobe plays. So, yes, it is a thrill. And um, Frank's ability to conduct an interview with a, an actor, uh, I don't know if you've seen it yet, or uh, how would you grade that? And if you had to interview any Hollywood star, who would it be? Um, well, I have not seen it. I saw a picture of him standing there. I have not seen an interview. I'm sure he did um, extremely well. But if I had to interview a star, it would probably be... Uh, Maybe uh, like a Beyonce or like a or Eva Longoria. Or, oh no, probably Nia Long. Definitely Nia Long, without a doubt. I actually I, I love Nia Long. She's one of the most beautiful women that's ever probably stepped on earth. So yes, I would love to uh, speak with her. Do you know Thanks, Kobe's locker? Uh, Did you figure out which locker was his?